Hello, welcome back to my channel. Today I am bringing you a pack with me video. I'm moving, so I packed some bags for the next couple of weeks because we are staying in a place in between moving from our current home to our next home. So I have enough stuff with me to last me for a couple of weeks, maybe more, potentially more, depending on all of the things that need to fall in place for our new house. So I do have a lot of stuff here. I usually am not an overpacker, but this time I did go into overpacking mode. A, because I don't know exactly how long we're gonna be staying in this in-between place. And B, it's also transitioning from, you know, fall to winter. So I need a lot of like sweaters and jackets and things. So that is what I have over here. I have four bags and then also my purse which makes five total bags and also these are all the, of the things for myself and for my work there are other things that are not in this video I mainly just wanted to show you how I pack with Vera and this is all of my like personal and work stuff so uh, we will start off with the bag that I um, decided to bring with me I'm really excited to show you this bag. I actually just did a video on this bag style. This is the Sport Sack Small Jenny, and I did a video on this bag last week. I also picked this bag up in one of the best prints I've ever seen. This print is called Little Orchestra. It is covered in music and musical instrument illustrations, and I could not be more obsessed with a pattern right now. I absolutely love every aspect of the style of the bag, but with the style combined with this pattern, it, it's just absolutely amazing. So this has been my bag since Monday. This has been my bag all week, and I do plan on carrying this bag probably up until I receive my Lug Mini Ranger in Butterfly Gray. And once I receive that, I really do want to try out that bag because I am a huge Lug fan and I'm a huge lug ranger fan so i'm really pumped to try out the mini ranger whenever i get my hands on that whenever that comes in but i've really been enjoying this bag and this is going to make the trip with me this is the only bag that i'm packing with me the rest of my stuff the rest of my vera um, besides the vera that i'm showing you in this video are gonna be moved into a storage unit for a little while until we get everything situated with our next place to live and um, can move in there. So this is the bag that I'm taking along for the journey. So I just want to get you um, close so you can see some of these illustrations because they are really detailed. And the small Jenny is a very small bag. If you find bigger items in this print, you will get larger swatches and more instruments. So the instruments that I'm showing you on this bag and the features of the print that I'm showing you are just a small sampling because this print has a lot more than what you see here. One of the things that immediately attracted me to this print, well, first I'll start off. I am a, a musician. I'm not professional or anything. I've been playing the flute since I was in fifth grade. So over 15 years I've been playing the flute. So through school, through college and also in my free time now and sometimes for choirs and things I will uh, accompany with the flute and it's just been one of my passions a quick side story <laughs> side story on a side story I used to hate playing the flute when I first started off in elementary school I just didn't like it and then the more I practiced the more I started loving it so I truly love it and it is my favorite instrument to play and then in high school, so the saxophone on here is actually cut off, which is unfortunate. But I do have another bag coming um, in this pattern. It's a little bit of a larger bag, so it shows a wider swatch of the pattern where you can see the saxophone. But I do play this uh, Barry sax. I played the baritone saxophone. That is basically the bass sax um, in the saxophone family. I played that in high school, in my high school's jazz band, and the fun thing about the saxophone and the flute is that the, the 
fingerings, as we called it, um, the, the finger positions are essentially the same between the flute and the saxophone. So I didn't really have to, when I first started practicing the saxophone in junior high, I didn't have to like learn the wheel again, so to speak, because I already knew, you know, the finger positions since they are essentially the same between the flute and the saxophone. So I picked that up in junior high and then started playing the baritone saxophone, which is this gigantic, it's like the size of me. The saxophone is ginormous. And I started playing that in jazz band, which I loved love that and if I could afford to buy a baritone saxophone thousands of dollars thousands of dollars I can never afford that but if I could afford that I would buy one so I could practice that on the daily but one of my goals someday is just to buy a regular saxophone or maybe even a tenor sax and so that way I can I can practice that more often because the mouth and the mouthpiece and the embouchures are different between the flute and the saxophone so um, wow, I got off into a really big side story there, but anyway, those are some of the, the things that attracted me to this print is because it has instruments that I, I've actually played and do play, and I feel like one of the most, um, I don't want, don't want to say overused, but one of the most, I guess, overused instruments in any kind of like memorabilia or anything is the trumpet, because the trumpet is usually the melody of the band and has the main part and is the most one of the most well-known instruments. There's no trumpet in this pattern to my knowledge, at least in my my swatches here. And that not that I dislike the trumpet, I love the trumpet, but I kind of like that they focused on other instruments and pieces of music that maybe aren't as well known. So that, anyway, that's what I liked about it. I like that it's not just a print full of trumpets, just because the trumpet is one of the most well-known common instruments. I like that, you know, you have, for example, you've got a bass guitar, you've got maracas. I mean, it's not just instruments in this pattern, too. You've got, like, you know, cha-cha-cha, rock and roll, you've got ska, folk, so you've got, like, uh, different genres of music as well. This says eat, but it's actually beat. The B just got cut off there jazz there's also a drum set which i i am not as experienced in playing the set but uh growing up we did have um oh shoot i cannot remember the brand it's like on the tip of my tongue but we did have a, a drum set in my house um it was a neil pert neil pert set because my my late stepdad used to play the drums and one of his like hobbies slash side job was to play he was in a band and he got he got paid to play the drums like he, ha he had it like a day job too but he used to play gigs on the weekend and he he had this amazing talent where he uh, could just listen and you know he would sit in the car for like 20 minutes and listen to a song a few times and be able to replicate that song and, and play uh the drums so it, it was just a really cool talent so he had a set and he taught me how to play when I was like in elementary school. So I do know some basic beats um, on the drum set. So you do have a drum set down there. Sorry I'm being super chatty. Probably should cut it back. But that shows, hopefully shows you how important this print is to me and how much I love this print and how much I relate to this print because music is so key to my life and my upbringing. I don't know where I would be or what I would do if it wasn't for my opportunities and um, to, to play in different bands in school and outside of school. Um, I, I did get a, a partial scholarship for playing the flute, which, you know, helped me in, in college. So there's a lot of ways that music has influenced my life and my career. So that's that's why this, when I saw that La Sport Sack had this print, that that's one of the other reasons why I got into La Sport Sack. Um, one is because the main reason is, is because Natalie Kay because she shared this awesome bag style on her awesome channel And then when I started doing research, I saw this print and I was like I need something in this print and It's this print is only a few years old, but now all of a sudden of course It's hard to find things in it. So but anyway, that's why this print is so important to me so 
you know, you've got this heart that's made of music notes there, and, you know, some things are personified, some things have, like, eyes to them, um, like the drum set down there and, and things like that. So, yeah, you've got different genres, and they do go in all directions, you know, pop and punk are on the side there, dance is upside down, like, and that doesn't bother me at all. I, I think this just adds a lot of, like, color, and it's just... It's just beautiful. I love this bag. I do not want to switch out of this bag. But again, when I do get the mini Ranger in, I do want to try that. And then also I have an, an, another bag in this pattern by La Sport Sack that's coming in that I do want to jump into and try too. But I will be back in this bag. That's why it's coming with me because I, I really do love it. And then there's also a piano. So I, I do play a little bit of piano. I'm, I'm self-taught. I've never had lessons. I would love to have lessons and learn. But again, playing the flute and the saxophone, a lot of things are similar, you know, um, so I, I do read music, and so that, that does make that process a little bit easier, but I would still love to take lessons, because I, I don't know how, I can't just sit down and, like, bust out something on the keyboard really fast, because I am trained in it, because I'm not trained in piano, so that is one of my dreams and goals someday, too, is to take piano lessons. But yeah, you've got rhythm, and you've got all kinds of different musical mo motifs on this bag. It's just amazing. I'm really late to the little sports sack game, but I wish that they would bring this pattern back already. There's a piece of the saxophone that's cut off. It almost looks like it is a tenor sax by looking at the size of it on this print. And there's a French horn. So that's a funny story too. I actually learned a tiny bit how to play the concert band version of, um, no, not concert band, the marching band version of the French horn, which was really fun. But that I found for me, the mouth, uh, the embouchure for that is like the hardest for me personally between the flute and the saxophone and the, um, the horn. Cause it, it's a lot of pressure on your lips and less, you know, key change, you know, finger changes you know, that sometimes the note is like the same finger position, but you have to, you know, expel more air and tighten your embouchure to get that higher note. And it's really hard, but I had so much fun. It just brings back so many good memories just uh, talking about this pattern with you all. Uh, yeah, drum roll. Got all kinds of different things. There's a lot of French horns on this bag, which is kind of nice. And then you also have some of that pattern um, going on up here. But anyway, just to wrap Oh gosh, 13 minutes of me talking about this. But, you know, this is a nice, beautiful shade of navy. And then all the pops of colors with the different instruments and uh, motifs is just beautiful. So I, re I wearing this bag this week has made me so happy. I actually keep it on the edge of my work desk so I can look at it because it's very, very happy for me to look at it. I did do a, again, I did do a review on the style itself, but I will go ahead and do like a quick rundown and show you what's in my bag before we get into my travel bags. So you do have the two grab handles and they do lie flat if you want to. You can see they stick up just a teensy bit, but if you want them to stand up, they can kind of do that too. But very nice, very easy to just grab and go. You do have an adjustable removable strap on a swivel clip here. And you have a zipper pocket, and in the zipper pocket, it's kind of hard to see. But I do have my chapstick and lotion in there. And then I just have mine and my boyfriend's set of car keys in there as well. So all of that fits really nicely down in there, and it's a pretty slim composure for all of that stuff being in there. And then in the front pocket, I have my mask and uh, my iPhone 13 mini also goes in that pocket with ease. Go ahead and take that out for right now. And in the main interior, so it's pretty much the same as when I had last week. There's just a couple of different changes in here. So as you see here, I have a pack of wet wipes in there. And the other change I think is that instead of using a factory outlet coin purse by Vera Bradley, I switched into my um, Cinda B security pouch. And I'm actually just using this to hold the same stuff that was in the Vera Bradley coin purse, like my um, headache medicine and little Vapo Vicks inhaler and just a couple other little things. 
because this is essentially the same size as that coin purse and I just wanted to use something different so that's what I have and then you know I'm still using this as my wallet so Kipling mini creativity but yeah that is my bag my hand sanitizer is clipped to the outside I just love it so that is the purse that I'm taking and I apologize I spent a good 15 minutes talking about that so let's move on to my work bag so the work bag that I'm going to be taking with me is a bag that might be very familiar to you because it has been on my channel so many different times. Actually, I might, yeah, I might back up or move the camera like closer so you can see a little better. Let's see if I can do that here. Bear with me for just like a few seconds because I'm going to try to... That way you can see, because you don't need to see my face necessarily, you just, you guys came here to see what's in my bags. So, that way you can see these a little bit better. So yes, this is the, the work bag that I am bringing with me. This is the Vera Bradley Grand Reactive Backpack in Blue Heather. Love this bag. Actually, this is probably right next to the Campus Backpack by Vera Bradley. This is one of my favorite bags to carry, you know, work stuff. I have even carried clothing and stuff in here before. It's a great bag. So in this front pocket, um, I won't show you, but I'll just kind of give you like a little peek. I just have my mail in here, like important documents and things that I um, will need on the go. And then you'll see that this backpack is full of different compartments here. So we've got this compartment, the main compartment, and then there's also a laptop compartment. So I do not have all of my work stuff in here yet because I still have it out um, to, to do some things today. But in this next compartment, so I pulled out my Best in Show Medium Cosmetic by Vera Bradley, and this is going to house my work co computer mouse in this front pocket and then in this back pocket I'm just going to put my computer charger in there again that's for my work stuff and then I'm also bringing my personal laptop and I found the perfect use for this little the sports sack bag I'm not sure what the name of the bag is or the pattern but I did show this in my last video too just a nice simple zip pouch and in this pouch, I just have my personal computer, charger, and mouse somewhere in there. Yep. So, nice way to keep it nice and organized, and I know exactly what pouch has what inside. And that is all I have in there currently, but I will fill this up later with like my other work stuff. And then in the main compartment, so... There is a sleeve. This is where my iPad will go. I'm filming with that currently. But I also have my personal laptop. It's a 12.2 inch Samsung Chromebook in that sleeve. And then also in this pocket, my work notebook will go in there. And then there is nothing in the laptop sleeve because that is where my work laptop is gonna go. So that is my backpack. Love using this too because it is water resistant and it can take a beating. Like I've used this backpack now for um, over a year and it still looks great. The next bag we have, and you know, I, I looked back real quick to see if I did a video on this and I did, but the video is terrible. Like sometimes I completely understand why I get dislikes on my videos because some of them are truly terrible. Like the lighting wasn't good and uh, whatnot. So, um, <laughs> Here's me. Don't mind my awkward video -ness. Um, it is, it is what it is, I guess. But this is the Vera Bradley Large Vera Tote and the Persistence Patchwork Pattern. This is an exclusive bag to commemorate uh, the 19th Amendment, women's suffrage, women's right to vote. And so that's what makes this a really special bag for me. It's also really special to quality wise because it makes use of the channel stitching the vertical stitching there and that is another reason why I decided to use this bag one because it's a great bag and I haven't used it in a while and two 
The material is very plush and flexible, so I actually can get a little bit more, I feel like, in this than my regular Vera Totes with the regular square diamond quilting. Because this just has a little more flexibility, like it's a little, see, look how I can just like kind of pull that. Like it's very flexible and I love that about it. And again, it's just a beautiful bag. I mean, the pattern is just gorgeous and very happy to look at. So I have a lot of stuff in this bag. So let's see if I can get you in there so you can see before I take stuff out and show you. Yes, that is my stuffed animal dog back there. He is going with me. So I have my a double eyeglass case by Vera Bradley and Heirloom Paisley and I just have um, these readers and also like a prescription pair of glasses in there. I have some cards, you know, in case I need to write like a thank you card or something on the road. This is a 31 pouch. I don't remember the pattern name, but I just have feminine products in there. This is Lug. This is, I forget the name of this. Maybe it'll have the name inside because Lug is really good about doing that. Um, no, it doesn't have the name. Well, it's like a, it's like a little passport holder. Like a, it's like a giant travel wallet pretty much. And so I just have my passport and other important documents in there. I know the pattern name. The pattern is Dragonfly Navy. I just can't remember the style name. But I have that in there. Then I have my Vera Bradley pencil pouch uh, pouch from the trio in Super Bloom, and this just has all of my masks inside. Another lug. This is the medium piece from the round trip set in Camo Orchid. Really wish lug would come out with more of these. And I just have a pack of wipes in there. This is the Vera Bradley cord organizer in the Harry Potter Forbidden Forest print. Love this thing. And in here, I just have, you know, some extra headphones and battery packs. I also have some phone cases for my phone, as well as some extra charging cords inside. I have the book that I'm currently reading, which is still the same book that I've been talking about for months because I can't finish it. Not because it's bad, but because I just haven't dedicated enough time to finishing it. Um, and I have it in this really nifty, so happy, stitch happy um, bookcase, book sleeve in the cat pattern. Love this. And I also have a pencil and like a little fruit notebook in there. I have this little um, rainbow packable bag in case I need some extra room. And you guys know me, I love my zip IDs, so you know, within the next few weeks, if I want to change out of my uh, mini creativity by Kipling, I have some three zip IDs to choose from. I have the Harry Potter Forbidden Forest zip ID. I have the Rainforest Canopy Zip ID and also the Petite Garden Zip ID. And these are probably three of my very favorite Zip IDs that I own right now. I also have some other littles like this little pouch which holds my like daily jewelry that I like to wear and then my business card holder. This is in Vines Floral, this is in Indio. I also have this uh, Kipling uh, Creativity Small pouch in camo, and this is like a little med pouch, so it's full of band-aids and an extra deodorant and gauze pads and hand sanitizer, Burt's Bees, floss picks. This thing is amazing. I'm so glad I bought this thing because it's just, it's perfect. Then I have this wristlet. I think the name is just Wristlet by Vera Bradley. And one of my all-time favorite patterns, Happy Snails. 
And the reason why I brought this is just in case I, you know, want to just throw in my zip ID and my keys and my phone and just grab and go and use this over like a purse. But right now I am also using it to store my taser. And I also did throw in my Vera Bradley factory outlet style coin purse and Twilight Paisley in case I want to switch out of my Sin to Be security pouch. I also have my Sin to Be Let's Get Techie. And this is to slip inside of my purse in case I do need some tech on the go, like a charger. So that slips in there. And that is pretty much it. There's like little odds and ends in some of the pockets. But this is the stuffed dog that I've had since I was a child. His name is Skipper, and he has gone everywhere with me. He's very special to me and holds a lot of uh, good memories. So I have, my uncle actually gave him to me. He found him at Goodwill and gave him to me when I was a kid. And I have loved him ever since. And he's been with me just about everywhere honestly. So that's Skipper. And that is it for the tote. I'll just kind of, there's still some stuff in there like silverware and things like that, but that is the interior pattern, which I love. So I'll go ahead and put that aside. And we just have two more bags left. So this one is a compact weekender in microfiber black, also by Vera. And of course, because of the dark color, it's totally throwing off the light balance. See how it goes from like yellow to white? Um, that's what happens anytime it's like a dark solid color, that's what it does. But I've had this compact weekender since, well, basically I got it when I got my first big girl job in an office and I wanted something, and this was before I discovered like the power of the Vera tote. I picked this up because I needed something, you know, big, but not too big, to carry all of my work stuff in. And so this is a bag that I used for like a year and a half with all, I'd never used it for clothes, I just used it for work stuff. And it has been in storage for years since I've had that job. I thought it would be perfect to house my like jackets and larger sweatshirts. So that's what's inside. But I also have a few other things in here. I have some uh, packing cubes in this outlet pattern. I can't remember the name, but just in case I need to like, you know, or like hyper organize some stuff, I brought some packing cubes. And then in this pocket, I actually used one of my packing cubes. It's ventilated to hold some shoes, some extra shoes. So that is what's in that double zip pocket. This bag also has one slip pocket on one end, which is empty. And it does have a trolley sleeve and these two smaller pockets, which I'm currently not using. But I'm not using a suitcase, so I do not need to make use of the trolley sleeve. And then on the inside here, so here is a look. I have a lug packable puddle jumper, which I love to use as like an extra bag or a laundry bag. And then I'm not gonna take all of these out, but basically they're just like jackets and larger sweaters that I probably could have fit in my main clothing bag, but I didn't wanna like, actually no, I probably could not have fit all of these. I think I have like six or eight large, like, you know, fluffy jackets and sweaters. And so I thought this is like the perfect size bag to carry all of that because I didn't really want to take like a bigger weekender because I do have a weekender in ink blue. That's like a full size one, but this one is perfect. And last but not least, this is one that I'm not going to be able to lift up and show you because it's just too heavy for that, but I will pull it into the frame. This is the... <laughs> I had to take a break there to process what this was. This is the Vera Bradley Custom Duffel Bag in Java Blue. So Java Blue is a pattern that has been around in the Vera Bradley world for years. 
and to my knowledge I think Vera Bradley has brought it back like a couple different times like they had a special release like maybe in 2017 2018 or something and they probably brought it back again before that and then they also put it in the custom section which the custom section is a place on the Vera Bradley website where they have a few sample bags and some sample patterns some of them are patterns that you know you can buy on the regular retail side and others are custom exclusives and you can basically create your own bag by modifying the body, modifying the straps, the trim, the piping, um, the pockets even on some of the bags. You can add embroidery on the inside. You can do all different kinds of things to make that bag uniquely yours. And this is a custom bag when Java Blue was in the custom section. Unfortunately, Java Blue is no longer in the custom section, but I did find this um, on I got really fortunate I found it on Poshmark and the girl priced it basically to get rid of it and it was new with tags and when I got it there was a little which you will not be able to see this in the video I don't think but see if I can get you in close there was like a little stain on the strap there and I think it was like nail polish or something but I just threw it in the wash and you know you could still see the shadow of it but it's good to go. So brand new with tags. She never used it, but she did refund me uh, $15. So I ended up paying like 35 bucks or something for this. So really, really good price for a brand new duffel bag. And I've been wanting one because I mean, they really changed the game. They fit so much stuff. So her customization on this bag was to just keep it, you know, pretty simple. She got the Java blue on the outside. She did the contrasting brown straps and she also made the interior print you know the same that's java blue and there is embroidery in there and i will try to empty the bag enough so you can see it but for right now i'll show you some of the items i have inside i have my vera bradley grand cosmetic in piccadilly plope that's not what this is called plum crazy this is plum crazy and this has all my toiletries in it. And then I do have a couple of packing cubes in that Fruit Grove print by Vera Bradley. And in here, I just have socks. And in this one, I have undergarments. And then in the body of the bag, I have all of my clothes from jeans, to shirts, to pants, all of that is in the body of the bag. And then, it might be kind of hard to show you the embroidery, but it does say you are far more precious than jewels inside, which is really sweet. And then there are just three pockets inside. There's that big middle pocket where the embroidery was on top of. And then there are two, one, two smaller pockets which don't really fit very much so I didn't don't have anything in there but in the middle larger pocket I do have my hat my ball cap and that's it so we are at 33 minutes I feel like I've taken a lot of your time already um oh you know what there is organization on this bag additional there is two giant slip pockets and then there is a slip and this slip has another slip inside of it I don't know if I can show you, but I'm gonna try. So this slip has a slip right there for your phone or whatever you wanna put in there. And then there is a zip on top of that. So that is my lucky custom find. But anyway, those are all of the items that are gonna be coming with me. Again, the rest of my Vera and the rest of my other bags are gonna be going on to a a moving truck and into storage for a little bit so hopefully all of those will be okay um but these are the items that made the cut these are the items that are going to be coming with me for the next few weeks until we settle into our new home so thank you so much for um enduring 35 minutes of me blabbing about music and my bags i appreciate it and i don't know when my next upload will be but hopefully it'll be soon and i will see you then bye